Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back for another video on the topic of service management. Today's topic is emergency changes. So let's go, let's go back to basics at first and then get into the thought. Emergency change is responding to an incident and it is authorized by an ECAB, a subset of the Change Advisory Board CAB, and is an emergency CAB. It is its sole purpose is to authorize that change to resolve that incident in as quickly as possible. And so many of our infrastructure friends, they're all friends, right? Our infrastructure friends struggle with this because they want to resolve this situation as quickly as possible. So I want to encourage you to make your emergency change process through your ECAB as quickly as so it does not stand in the way. So it can be as quick and as responsive to that situation as possible. Also consider who is on your ECAB. Is the business on there? It should be, whether through the BRM or the business rep specifically. Security should be, right? How about the infrastructure manager? Should be. Leadership, whoever your ITSM program manager is, should be. And last thing is somebody representing the application. Because the application, a server goes down, the application personnel, the analyst, the developer needs to understand what are the expectations, what are, when's this coming up. And so I want to just throw out this thought that please be thoughtful in terms of how you design your emergency change process to enable a quick resolution as well as provide the governance needed. That's where change management should provide value and not bureaucracy, so please help it do so. Additionally, one more point, in you have lots of flexibility. And so, you, you know, you need to understand your SOX documentation and your SOX process, your PCI, and how do you stay compliant. But other than that, can you have the ECAB and then put in your change ticket after it's resolved? Possibly. How about if you go through and you get an approval for one type, one change and that doesn't work and you have to take a second swing at the problem or third or fourth or fifth? You never know, right? How many ECABs are required? Put thoughtful discussion in, within your organization on those types of things just so you can be responsive to your business. Your IT personnel can resolve the issue as quickly as possible and you have the governance where you can provide value, once again, value within IT through the ITSM processes, value in that you understand what's going on. Maybe through your ITSM, you realize this is the fourth time this server's had an incident or this application. And so you can do a root cause analysis through your problem management. That's where the value comes in, is the connection of all of them to one another, all the processes to one another, to help, under, to help you understand what's going on for your business. Your business feels that they don't know how to articulate it. They're looking to you for answers. ECABs and all the processes that touch ECABs can help. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it. I ask that you like or subscribe to the channel, share the like or subscribe to the video, share to the share the channel, give us feedback of some variety. I hope you have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.